Hey everyone, welcome back to Big Daddy's Barbecue Pit. This week, we're gonna show you a stuffed spaghetti squash recipe. So we have this uh, spaghetti squash that we're gonna go ahead and crack down the middle, split it in two. Like so. It's really not that easy. But. We're gonna go ahead and scrape out these seeds. And this is a really good substitute for pasta, if you're watching your carbs. So we're just gonna take these out. Kinda like you're cleaning out a pumpkin. And you could roast these seeds if you wanted. But we're gonna skip that step today. Clean these out real good. I have an oven preheated to 375. We're gonna oil and salt and pepper the tops of these. And we're gonna put them in the oven for about 45 minutes and bake these guys to where we can shred them. So we're just gonna take a little bit of olive oil, go around the outside. Rub that in a little bit. Gonna hit it with some, just some fresh cracked pepper and some fresh salt. And prior to sticking them in the oven, this is what it should look like. We're gonna flip these guys over right onto this cookie sheet. We're gonna put it in the oven for 45 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna start making the sauce for our, the stuffing that we're putting in these spaghetti squash. So we just got some, this is actually turkey Italian sausage that we're doing today. We got a half a sweet onion here we're just gonna chop up. We're gonna add all this right in there. We got three cloves of garlic we're gonna use. This is just a real simple uh, meat sauce that we're making. You can use, if you want to use jarred sauce, if you have a favorite, use that. This is just something simple we came up with. I'm going to put these right in there. Again, half a sweet onion. We got about a half a container of portobello mushrooms. I broke them up a little bit, I put them in there as well. Now we're just going to smash these, this garlic. Just chop them up a little bit. cook down and get happy. Okay, we're gonna add some seasoning here to our Italian sausage. Got some black pepper. We're gonna add a little bit of salt. And then about two teaspoons of Malcolm's Italian Stallion. Give that a good seasoning. And then we have a 20 amp, 28 ounce can of some ground peeled tomatoes. And I'll show you the brand that I'm using here in a minute. I'm just gonna pour them in real good. This is the brand I'm using. We've been using this a lot for our uh, sauces, including our pizza sauce. It's a really good brand. Pick it up at your local grocery store. We're gonna give this a good mix. And we're just gonna let this reduce and it'll thicken up nice we're going to add some actually add some ricotta cheese to it get some of this water cooked out of it and we're going to mix this with our spaghetti squash okay so 
this has been simmering for about 15 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and add a, one heaping tablespoon of ricotta cheese. And that's gonna make it real creamy. Just gonna fold it in and it will melt. You can leave this out if you, if you, if you don't like ricotta cheese. You can certainly leave any of the ingredients out. And, and this recipe for sauce I found works really well on the large spaghetti squash. We may have some extra today. Uh, the spaghetti squash I was able to source was a little on the smaller side compared to what I'm used to cooking. So if you have extra sauce, you can put it on, use it for another meal. Okay, these, this spaghetti squash is done. We're going to pull it out. And like I said, you could tell that they're done. See how soft that looks? That's what you want to see. Sometimes it'll, it'll flatten off a little bit, but you can see that's nice and soft. We're going to let this sit to where it's manageable, probably about 10, 15 minutes, and we'll put together the rest of the dish. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and shred this spaghetti squash. We're just going to pull down from the sides here. We're going to use the shell as the vessel for what we're making here. So we're just going to get these tongs and we're going to lift it out of here and we'll put it right in my bowl. Super simple. And then from here, I'm going to take some of our sauce that we made. Six cheese, Italian cheese, probably about a half a cup. And we're going to mix this up. And you want to fold this. You don't really want to just blend it or it'll start breaking down that spaghetti squash. So you just want to fold it into itself. Kind of resembles baked spaghetti. Who hasn't had baked spaghetti as a kid? Big, easy casserole to do. Only a little bit healthier. So we got that mixed real good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer it right back into this bowl here. Now, I'm going to stop about halfway. I'm going to add just a little bit more cheese. Get another scoop of that sauce. Put it in the center. Now we're going to take just a little bit of this mozzarella cheese. We're going to come over top of it. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this one. So we got both of these guys ready. 
try to get some of this excess cheese off of there so I'm not having too much of a mess to clean up. I'm just going to come back across the top just a little bit more of Malcolm's Italian seasoning. We're going to throw these in the oven for probably about 10 minutes. We're going to get this cheese good and melted. Everything in there is cooked. And we're going to show you what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, so we're going to try a little bit of a bite of this. Some of that cheese in there, some of that sausage, sauce. Mm. Man, that's so good. Easily can be a replacement for regular spaghetti. Great flavor. It's actually really damn good. I'm going for another bite. Mmm. <laughs> good sauce recipe. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. Get some. You want to try a bite of it?